what's up guys this is sumit from techno fun so welcome back to our channel so today here i'm here with an you know first lab exercise in hive so the basic you know uh, understanding of hive how to create databases in hive how to create tables how to create you know how to load data inside uh, your tables okay so what we'll be doing in this today class this is the assignments first create a text file in hive create a database in hive create a table employee to store that text file inside that table get the structure of employee and finally do the some select statement in your uh, employee table okay so let me first start it so first you need to create the text file so i'll go inside my files this is ubuntu okay so you need to have the ubuntu system to let's get started with hive okay so first of all this is my employee text file so this is how the data you know I store inside that text file okay so after that you need to create a table first of all if you want to create a table you need to have some database right so first of all let me tell you how to create database so type hive hit enter it will you it will redirect you to inside that hive environment okay once you are in hive environment you can create the database okay basically you need to create database first then only you can you know create all the tables inside the database okay if i do so databases okay and you'll be seeing all the database available here okay okay means the your command has successfully completed and default is a default database created by hadoop and project tv project tv which are i have created for myself okay so we'll first create create database and testing okay and semicolon it will create the database okay means you have successfully created that database okay let me show you show databases again and your database will be there so if you want to do any operation inside your database you need to first select your database okay so what is the command type use your database name testing semicolon hit enter that means whatever the operation would be performing here that will be getting stored inside your database testing okay so now we are good to go with create table statement okay so if you will see here you need to create you need to create first text file which will have which is we have already created okay you need to create a database which have already created with the name of testing create a table employee to store data in employee text okay first of all we need to create employee table with the column names here okay so I'll go inside. I've already you know, uh, written the command for that because it will take much time for you guys also. Okay, simply see create table command. If you know the SQL, that would be better to get an understand the Hive commands. Okay, create table employee employee name. This is the our uh, column name, string, name, string, band, and department ID, string, and salary. All the columns names are the same as have given inside that employee text file. Okay. So row format delimited. That means your format, like your you know text file inside is a row format, okay? And the fields terminated by semicolon or you know quotes, like how your text file is denoted, like it has been you know, separated by comma, right? So I have given as fields terminated by comma, okay? So here I'll just copy this command and paste it in my terminal. Right click and paste. It will save your time also, right? So I'll hit enter, and as you can see here, yeah, okay. So it has been, you know, created, right? So if I'll go and type show tables, it will show all the tables have created inside this testing database, okay? So as you can see, first table is employee. If I'll do select star from employee table, then you will be seeing nothing because I, I just created the table. I didn't create any. You know, uh, I have I have not loaded any data, you know, data inside that text file like employee table. Okay, so if you will see our you know assignment, I have written like create a table employee which we have already created to store data in employee text under the created database. So employee text file which you have already created, you need to store the text file inside that employee table, right? So that means, ki, uh, first of all, in Hive, whenever you create any tables that is getting stored that gets stored as a directory in your database okay i'll show you the whole the structure here okay i'll go uh, i'll just come out from the no i'll just first load the data okay first load the data inside that uh, employee table what is the command load okay 
okay, first of all I'll just copy paste because it will take time to you know uh, show you see here load is a keyword data load data is a keyword local if you giving local that means you need to give the path like from your local it is being copied okay so if you don't give any local that means it's you know uh, getting data from your uh, Hadoop cluster like HDFS file system okay so I've given local that means it's my normal file system my directories okay local in pipe is a keyword and from where like which file like home OSD that my folder implore a text file first file which we have from you know uh, from where we are copying that data load that this table this data inside that table name employee into table you need to have you know very conscious by uh, you know, uh, while writing these commands okay because this is very basic thing okay if you forget anything between that it will be you know very very headache for you guys semicolon and hit enter it will basically load that text file inside your table employee if you type select star from employee you will see the data okay so you can see here the data are coming as you know as in a format okay but you will be you know uh, if you notice that the column names are not fetching right because in Hadoop basically the column names are you know uh, has been set as false so you need to you, know, you need to set it as a you know uh, you need to set the condition for that how we will do just go inside see under a created database so this is our last step to do that thing okay we'll be doing that later okay so i'll just uh, show you my another task which is list the structure of employee table so how we uh, how we will be doing the structure simply write describe your table name okay and hit enter see your structure here employee id name band department id and salary these all are the column names and the data types okay so this has been sorted out so what I uh, first of all I'll show you where this employee table has been created and where it is getting stored. Okay, as I've already told in Hive, whenever we create the table, it gets stored inside the Hive warehouse as a directory, as a directory. Okay, so I'll come out from the Hive. Okay, Control C and then type uh, Hadoop FS. Whenever you are you know doing Hadoop HDFS file system, like we are working with Hadoop, you need to write Hadoop FS. Okay after that your commands like hyphen ls i'll be listing all the you know uh, directories files which are in my in home directory okay as you can see here uh, see uh, in hive okay my data i've told that i've told many times to you guys give uh, it is getting stored inside your database a uh, very database storing inside your warehouse and where is warehouse inside your hive okay so i'll go one by one it is getting stored by default inside user so i'll be you know listing all the files inside the user directory hit enter and you'll be seeing the all the files see inside user there's a different user right hive input output test so our data and our table is getting stored inside the warehouse okay so i'll go user hive hit enter list so what is inside the hive directory is a warehouse i've already told right inside warehouse our database would be available type warehouse at hit enter so it would be showing all the databases okay as you can see here there's a lot of databases available so that's why uh, in first time i have told you he create your database like for you know uh, so and then type use your database name then whatever the operation would be doing that would be getting stored inside your database otherwise it will be not storing inside your database and it will be going inside your default database okay so make sure you notice that point okay and then simply write the again the same thing ls and if it is listing inside i'll go inside my uh, database which i have created testing okay testing dot db okay it's already is a uh, naming convention automatically that comes dot db okay hit enter and you will be see my table name see employed i have already told you many times whenever we create a table in hive that gets stored in warehouse in your database as an as a directory okay in hive this is the basic uh, difference between oracle and uh, oracle tables and hive tables okay so now again i'll list slash employee and you will hit enter here you will be uh, getting your employee.txt file as you can see here 
see employ a text file okay so what happened okay if i'll go here see what we did first of all we created the table okay blank table then we have loaded the text file inside the table see load data local in path from here text file to employ then automatically the text file has been copied inside the employer table and employer table what is employer table employer table it is created as a directory inside your warehouse okay because in hive every time you create the table it is getting stored as a directory okay so this is how the structure looks like and our last assignment for today is list data in employer table using select statement okay and make sure that the output has column headers okay if you see here i'll go inside my hive again first of all i'll just clear my screen go inside hive by typing hive and if you if you noticed i have already show you my uh, shown you my data like my tables right it was coming without the column right all right so first of all i'll show you all the databases again as you know all key if we need to select first our database so whatever the operation would be doing that will get stored inside database type testing colon semicolon and hit enter testing okay okay that means successfully and show tables employee table right okay then fetch data from your table fetch data from employee semicolon hit enter as you can see we are getting our call our data but our task is to get the data with the uh, header like column names like okay so how we'll do we'll need to write two things okay what is that i have already stored so it will save your time on mine also otherwise please this video will become a very lengthy okay see set hive.cli.print.header what it means hive.cli cli means command line interface dot print that should print header header is equal to if we we'll see we we'll just copy this command okay and paste it in your terminal of hive hit enter and again put select star from employee now we'll see the difference see it's coming as employee dot employee id see the in every column column name is coming with the table name right so we need to avoid that part also so we need to put another another statement also which is set hive dot result set dot use dot unique dot column name equals to false false okay automatically it is getting stored as a as a true statement okay so we need to you know set it as false if we'll do if i'll do here the same thing paste and you will see that the table name had the like table name which is coming before the uh, column name would get you know removed select star from employee and we'll see employee id the data is coming with the column name right so i hope this helps you a lot because we did a small assignments in hive so basically i was hoping that you will be get the basic idea of hive what is hive you know uh, how you can perform the operation on hive like creating files database tables and all these things okay this was this was our first lab exercise do let me know in comments if you have any question regarding this like in how to create if you have any you know uh, doubts and any any clarification you need to ask please drop a comment below i will be happy to help you guys so stay tuned with our channel technophone do subscribe and we'll be doing you know we'll be making many more videos on hive assignments okay so this was this was our first video and the second video would be coming after a few days so stay tuned god bless you guys and we'll meet in next video till then bye bye